Welcome back to Old Man Gaming Channel. Hi, my friends. I hope you are good and enjoying your weekend. Well, guys, I've got something different for you today. This is actually a gaming video. This is actually a tutorial. Yeah. I thought I'd have a go at doing a tutorial for you guys. As you can see, I've been messing around on Euro Truck. I love Euro Truck. I've just upgraded to the 1.32 with the trailer add-on where we can get our trailers now, guys. So there'll be some footage over the weekend of me and my new trailer driving around. Yeah, so look out for that, guys. But I thought, do you know what? I wanted to help you guys out. I've been messing around with the skins and me being a bit of a thicko. Yeah, I'm a bit thick, guys. Uh, I found it quite easy. So do you know what? I thought I'd share it with you guys. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm going to show you how to skin your trailer. Uh, but if you, ever, if you want another tutorial on how I did my truck... Just let me know, guys, and I'll show you how I did the truck, too. Because, uh, obviously, I've done the skin here on the truck. This is the old man gaming skin, as you can see. It's got all my stuff on it, off my uh, banner on the YouTube there. You know, it's me zombie truck, basically. It's a zombie truck. we got all the zombies on it. And at the top there, see zombies playground. Uh, and old man gaming HD up the side. But today, guys, I'm going to show you how to do the trailer. So I'm going to show you the easiest way. I mean, the easiest way in the world, guys. I mean, even, even a one-year-old could do this. This is how easy it is. I'm going to show you how to turn that trailer there into this trailer here. Let me just show you. There you go. Not exactly that one, but that's my own trailer. That's the one I made, guys. Look how beautiful that looks. And it was so easy, guys. You're not going to believe how easy it is to do your own trailer or whatever logo you want to put on it. And we're going to do one today for you and show you how to do it. Look how nice that looks. You know, I've got a top. It's all nice and black. It all blends in nicely. Doesn't that look good? That's obviously my, uh, as you probably know, that's my banner off my YouTube. And I've got it on my truck. Do a bit of advertising as I'm driving around. So, yeah, doesn't that look nice, guys? So, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, without further ado, let's get into it, guys. And I'm going to show you what, how to do it. Right, just give me a minute while I go and get onto Google. And I'll show you how we're going to do this, guys. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Right, guys, here we are on Google. So, the first thing you want to download, which is in the link below on the description, just click the link and it'll take you to this page paint.net you're gonna need this so you can do your skins on your truck guys you know what i mean on the trailers uh, the truck's not too bad because you could probably you can use this but you can use photoshop as well but i'm not going to show you photoshop because you have to buy that obviously and it's expensive uh, i use that to do a lot of uh, editing obviously but you guys might just want to use a free program like this paint.net and it's actually easier on here to be honest with you than photoshop you're not going to believe how easy it is guys so i'm going to show you so basically download this and install it i'm not going to do it because i've already got it so make sure you do that just download it all install it and make sure it's ready to go guys all right nice one and then the next thing we're going to do guys is you're going to click on the next link which is going to take you to this page here let me just get it up for you guys so basically, once you've got it, type in the link and it'll take you to this page here like this. Da, da, da. There it is. This is what we want. Bring your own trailers and workshop for making your own trailer skins. This is the one we're going to be modifying for our own truck, guys. So basically, it's dead easy. Just got to download it again. Let me just go through it with you because it is a bit it's a bit weird. So just press the download like that, okay? All right. And then once you've got it on the download, and then what you can do is, see that? Confirm download. You press that again, okay, and then it brings up this premium or free. Just press the free download, okay, and then you might get this pop-up here. Just go to download again, and then you may find, it might not work for you, it might just work straight away and download, but for me, it keeps popping up this SD app program, which I don't want. So basically, don't bother with all that, just exit at the top here, get rid of that, and then just press the free download again. And it'll download, guys, without having to add anything else. There you go. As you can see down the bottom, oh, you can't see my camera's in the way. Let me just move the camera up a minute. And you'll see at the bottom here, in the bottom corner left there, it's downloading. It's that easy. So there you go, guys. That's how you download the mod. And that's all we're going to need to do our own trailers, guys. Paint.net and this folder. That's it. Nothing else for now. That's all we need, guys. It's that easy. Let me move my camera back down for you guys. Right, okay. All right, so once that's downloaded, I'll show you. Now we'll go into that folder. Uh, download it and then extract it 
to your desktop to a folder, okay? Or just put it straight to your folder, copy it straight to your folder on a desktop, all right? So basically, then when we come out of that, like that, we don't need that no more, we don't need that, we don't need that. Uh, exit that rubbish, right? So then when you get your folder, this is what you end up with here. So basically, this is our folder. So when you open it, this is what you get in it, here. This is what we get in the folder, guys. You're going to get an SCS file, which is um, basically bring own trailers. This is the one we're going to mod. Uh, and then we get all our templates for all our trailers and a docs file. Okay. So basically that docs file is going to tell us in a minute where, what trailer, where it is, what's what, basically. Um, obviously, as you can see by the templates, some are bigger than others. So that's obviously a small trailer. Um, and as you can see from there, the top left, that's the back doors. Yeah, that's the back doors. You can see the doors on it. The bottom, right beneath it, this one here, okay? This one there, that is the front of the trailer where all the cables connect and the refrigerated items. These are obviously the side curtains. And, and where the big chunky bit is on them, that's the doors. That's where the back is. So you know that's the back. And the bottom bit's the roof. So you know by looking at them drawings, them for first two are small trailers. And the one we want to mod is basically going to be this curtain slider, the big one here. This massive one, because you can see it's a bigger trailer. And that's the one we're going to be modding, right guys? Um, you can do whichever one you want, whatever trailers you want. You can do them all if you want. Once you sort your skin out, you can do them all. I'm going to show you how easy it is to transfer your, your image onto these templates. Right, but basically guys, we're not going to use these templates. We're going to be using what's already in these, this folder here. So basically what we're gonna do is open a new folder, okay? So open a new folder inside this one, like that, and then call it whatever, I don't know, just call it test folder for now. Test, test, test skin, we'll call it test skin, all right? Okay, then what we wanna do is bring this folder in next to it, bring own trailers, just drop that in, drag it in there like that, guys, open it up. Now what we need to do is extract this now with WinRAR, uh, which is uh, another free program. I'll put the link down below where you can get that from, the WinRAR program. Or you can use zip file if you've got that to unzip it, you know, whatever you whatever you use. Uh, WinRAR is the most popular one because it's free. Um, so basically just right click on it, open with, and go with WinRAR like that. And uh, once you open it, guys, this is what you end up with. Let me just show you. Always oh, open on this screen. You open it up. You end up with these files here. Like you got one, two, three, four, five, six files in there. Basically, we want to extract them into the folder we've just made, okay? Uh, because we need them. These are the ones we're going to mod. So basically, what you do is just extract two, okay? And then go to our desktop because we know that's where we put our folder. We're looking for the folder that we made, which is bring own skin template to workshop. And then we just made a test skin folder, and there it is, test skin. So you just basically click on your test skin, okay. Okay, my friends, this is that, you're with me. You know, if you need to go back, just pause it, go back, rewind, watch it again. It's dead easy, really. Once you've done it once or twice, you, you'll, be able to, you'll be making loads of trailers in no time. Right, so we can exit that now. So there we go, guys. This is the folder we need. We've got all the stuff we need in here. Bring your own trailers. Get rid of that now. You can move that out or just delete it. Uh, if you're going to make other trailers, just keep it, guys. Just put it to one side. You might need it again. You never know. This is the info we need for the trailer we're going to make today. Right. So now we've got all that. We're good to go, guys. So we've got our paint.net ready to do our painting or our editing, whatever we're going to do. And now we've also got downloaded our WinRAR to open all these files up. And we've also got our mod off the site that we need to bring the trailers, to mod the trailers. Okay? So all we've got to do now, then, is you go, you go to Material first, go to UI, Accessories, and then press that Bring. Right-click on Bring and open with paint.net, okay? Right, and then what will happen is you'll get another file open here. So you get this open. Basically, all this is when you actually get your mod on Euro Truck, this is what will show up. So, you know, you don't want loads of the same pictures, or you're not going to know what your skins are. So, you want to change that to whatever. We're going to be doing like a pink trailer today. We're going to do a pink panther trailer. That's what we're going to make today. So, I'm going to change that to pink. So, basically, all I'm going to do is paint it. And I'm going to paint it pink. All right? That's all I'm going to do. I don't need nothing else on there. I don't need no writing. I'm just going to paint it pink like that. So I know it's going to be my pink skin. Okay? And then all you do then, guys, is you press File, Save As. It'll come up there, bring direct drawers. Go, yes, yeah, save as. Do you want to replace it? Of course we do, because we want a pink one now. So press OK. That Another screen will come up. Just press OK, whatever that says. It doesn't matter what that says. It just does that automatic. So there we go. 
There's our pink skin. So that's done. So we can go back now into our template. Okay. So go back to our test skin folder. Here it is. Okay. So we've done our little thumbnail that's going to be in Euro Truck. So when we're doing our trailers, we know which skins what. It's going to be the pink one for Pink Panther. Okay. Right. The next one we've got to do, guys, is the vehicle. Okay. So if you click on the vehicle, just keep clicking it because there's only one file in each one. You can't go wrong here. And it brings up all this here. See? It's got loads of stuff, loads of different folders, but these are all basically the skins and the, the different trailers, okay, guys? So we've obviously got the Bringe trailer, um, so these are all the same. And basically, we want to change the ones we want. Uh, and to find out which trailer's what, what we do is, if we go back, you see this docs file, open that with whatever notepad or whatever you've got. I'm going to use WordPad. Open it, okay? And then when you open it, if when you come down, scroll down, and you'll see... Right there, it tells you what you need in the vehicle trailer owned, right? So you, this is the base colour, so you can see 4x4 right at the top there. This is the base colour. And then right at the bottom, it will say shared uh, to bring accessories. So there's any accessories on your trailer, like, you know, box skirt, skirt, and stuff like that. You want it to be the same colour as your base colour. This is what you use. So we're going to do that now, guys. So we'll leave that there. We'll, we'll refer to this as we go. So the first we want to do is the base colour. We need that because, you know, the trailer is metal, isn't it? So we want to paint whatever we want that colour. And because we're just going to go mad, we're going to have, like, a pink. We're going to have... I think what we'll do is we'll have black for our main colour because most trailers are black. And then for our accessories, we'll have the pink, okay? So all we do then, guys, just shrink that down a minute. So we go back into our test skin. Go to our vehicle, owned, uh, da, da, click it all through, so we get here. So we know the first one here, the 4 before is the base colour. So we've just looked at that in the file. So right, just right-click on it and open it with paint.net, okay? Easy as that. And up it'll come. And right in the middle, it's tiny. You'll see a little green square. It's tiny. So if you zoom in... Just click this here, zoom in, there it is. That's the base colour at the moment. So all your trailers, whatever your mod, are going to be green. Because that's what it was. Because it was uh, it was a green trailer, which was a green skirt and all that. So he's obviously had that as his base colour. We want to change our base colour now to black. Because we want a black one. Um, so basically all we've got to do is pick a black. And all you got to do is paint it, guys. That's it. So the base colour on the trailer now, like the framework or the metal... It's going to be black, okay? So, awesome, we'll keep that. And all you're going to do to save that is easy as this. Press File, Save As, okay? And then all these files will come up. Change nothing, keep it as it is. Just press Save. It will say, do you want to replace it? You go, yes, please. You replace it, press OK on there. And that's it. The base colour's changed to black. Whatever colour you want, you know, whatever your scheme's going to be. Uh, but we're going to try black. Okay, so right, there's that done. So the next one we need to do before we go onto a trailer is do the shared file at the bottom, which is the accessories like the skirting or little boxes we're putting under the trailer, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna want that uh, color. We're gonna want to chip. We want to choose a color basically. So basically, we'll do the same again. Right click on it, open with Paint.net. Don't worry about the Adobe Photoshop. That's mine. That you, you don't need that. Use Paint.net. It's much easier. Okay, you do the same again, zoom in, and you'll see your green square. So all your accessories are going to be green. We want to change that to pink now, because we're having a pink trailer. We want it all to blend in. We want the side skirts to be pink, because we're having a pink panther trailer. So basically, all we do now is pick our pink collar, paint it in. There we go, like that. Beautiful. Lovely. So there we go. And all we do then is save that. So we go to File, Save As. Uh, there's all our files. Just go Save. Uh, yes, please. I do want to and press OK. So that's it. We've done the two main colors now So we don't have to worry about nothing else. It's all about our skin now guys. So right just exit out of that So now we want to do which trailer we want. We want that big trailer. We're doing the big one So if we go back to our notepad Right and the big one we want is the single trailer and then we got the curtain side double and curtain side B double, okay, so we want the curtain side, but you want the biggest trailer, you want the big one. So I think it's the uh, dry double, I think. I'm not sure. We'll have a look now. Single trailer. It could be the single trailer, actually. 6144. I think it is that one. It's the single trailer, guys. Yeah. We want to go for the big single. So basically, all we've got to do is, we know which one we want to do. This is just like a, a, 
a guide to help you know which trailer does what, which is what. But you can have a look at the guide. You'll see anyway. You just click on it, right click on it, open it with paint.net, and it'll literally open it for you. And you can see what the trailer is. So you can tell just by that picture there, it's the smaller trailer. It's like half the size, it's the smaller one. It's not the big one. Um, because you'll see when we open the bigger one, it's a lot longer. Um, so that's how you judge your trailers. And as you can see, the skin's already on there. You're going to be amazed how easy this is to make your own skin. Right, so we don't want that one because we're doing the big trailer. So I think it was, it wasn't the next one. I think it was this one. So let's open that with paint.net. Right click on it, paint.net. And then straight away, you can see, look how long it is now. It's massive. You know, it's a lot longer. Let's bring it bigger. There we go. So as you can see, guys, it's massive now. You know what I mean? So we know this is for the big trailer. This is for the one we want to mod. Right, so we're going to make a pink panther trailer. So first thing I want to do is I want the roof to be pink because, you know, why not? So I'm going to pick my colour, go for pink, get the paintbrush out, get the brush up a bit. This is so easy. Can you never believe how easy this is, guys, honestly? You're going to be making trailers in no time. All you got to do is... Right, I can't quite see because my monitor's a bit over. Let me uh, let me just bring that over a bit. Let me do it like that so I can see my monitor. I've got it on the other monitor. So basically, all we've got to do then is the roof. We'll do the roof first. All we've got to do, guys, is this. Look how easy it is. Try not to get it on the top trailer. Just paint it in. Uh, I've gone over a bit. If you go over a bit, just click the rewind button and then just do it like that. Basically, all we want to do is paint that pink. That's it. Like that. Just get it all that white, get all that white, try and get it on the edge. You don't have to be neat, by the way, just fill it in. That's it, it's done. So the roof now will be pink. That's it, that's how easy it is. Or whatever colour you want, or if you want to put a picture on the top, you can. But most trailers are just normal, normal, basic, base colours, aren't they? So there we go, that's the roof. Right, the next little bit I want to do is we got the back doors there, as you can see there from the doors. There are the doors. Let me just make it a bit bigger because the uh, my fat's better. Things going over. Right, let me just move that out of the way down there a bit. Right, so that there, where it says bring find in new ways, that's obviously the back doors, guys. So I want to put a picture up there. I want, I want a pink pamphlet on my back doors, you know what I mean? There's nothing better than a pink pamphlet on your back doors, is there? So what we're going to do is, if you look at the folder here, you've got like a new folder or you've got open. Well, that's the one you want. So you click that, it's like a folder and a little arrow saying open. So just press that, open it. And then what we want to do is find our picture. So mine's on my desktop. So let's go to my desktop. And we're going to find a picture to put on the back doors. Uh, something to do with the pink pumpy. Pink pumpy, yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Have we got anything? Yeah, I like the look of that one. I want to put him on the back doors. Let me go. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Why, why not? Why would you not want that on the back of your truck? Right. So, guys. So, now you've got two fuck pictures open. You've got your main one and that one. So, basically, what you've got to do is this easy, guys. Got it like that. Just go to edit and then go copy. Okay. Once you've copied it, and then you can go back onto this picture and then paste it. And then it'll pop up like that, guys. Okay. Um, sometimes it'll work without actually filling it. I'll just click it on the paintbrush first. If you don't have it on the paintbrush, just have it on the selection tool. You can just copy it straight in, guys. So once you've got that, all you've got to do then is make that fit your doors, guys. So get your doors wherever you want it. So just play with it, bring it in. Make sure everything's covered. Bring it down. So there you go. Job done. Job's a good one. There you go. So that's the back doors. We've got, hello. That should work fine, that, guys. And as you can see, it's a very... Uh, it's a very light pink, so I might change the pink on the top of my truck. Um, but then again, I don't know. I'm not sure. I might keep it that colour. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like, guys. So there's the back. So basically, we want the front now to match that. So all we're going to do is... I've got no picture for the front. We're just going to paint that, because why not? Let's just have that painted. No one's going to see that, because it's behind the cab. So right, what we do is we're going to go with our paintbrush. And what we need to do is I want to pick a colour. So, should work this. Can I go with that? No, I can't. I can't do that. No. Undo that. No. Uh, where's my swap? I want to pick one. I'll pick Colour picker. So, just pick a colour. There we go. We've got one, right? And then all we want to go is back to our paintbrush. Paint it and it'll be the same colour. Look at that. Nice. Just fill that in. There you go. Jobs are good. Do you know what? I might even just do the top of the roof while I'm here. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let me just get that. Oh, God, I've gone too big. I've gone too big again. It's gone big. I 
Let's just paint that in. I want it all to blend in. So let's, let's go with that colour for the roof as well. Why not? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Beautiful. There we go. Nice and pink. So now we've done the back of the trailer. We've done the front of the trailer. Now we've done the roof. So now what we've got to do is bring in our side scares and put them on, guys. Right. So we want to go now. We want to do new picture again. So we'll go open. We need to find our next picture. Which is, I've already downloaded it, guys, ready to put on. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Where is it? I'll just bear with me one second while I flick through my pictures. Uh, it wasn't that one. Um, okay, maybe I did download one. I thought I did. Unless I just can't see it. Maybe I'm blind. I'm going blind. I'm getting old, you see, guys. You know what I mean? I'm just, my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. Have I gone past it? No, I can't see it. So what we'll do is, we'll use this one. All right, the Pink Panther. So we'll use that, guys, all right? So basically, then, all we got to do is the same again. Go to our selection tool. Just copy it all like that. Take the whole thing. Go like that. And then go to Edit. And then we want to copy it. And then go back to our trailer. And then paste it in. There it is, guys, all right? And then basically, all we need to do is line that up with our trailer. So get it so it's covering everything. All the green, basically. All the green. And just stretch it across. Like so, okay, and then that's the side done. But all we got to do then, guys, is do the same again. Copy that layer, just go to image. Is it image? Layers, no layers, sorry. Duplicate layer. Click OK, and then just drag that layer down, guys. It's that easy. Over that picture there, like that. That looks pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. um, it might be going over the roof a little bit there. Let's bring it up a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go to there. Right, we're good. All right, so there you go, Don. That's our that's our trailer, Don. That is it. That's all you have to do, and you just do that with your own image. You just do your base color first, whatever base color you want, and then you do your shed, like your accessories, which is like the skirting, boxes, and stuff like that, whatever color you want them. And then it's basically just messing around with the different size trailers, what you want to skin, and put whatever you want on Paint.net. Like I said, this has all been free, it hasn't cost nothing. You just download it, and these save automatically now, so you don't even have to mess around changing nothing now. So all you do now, right, like, guys, is go to File, Save As, okay? And then it, it'll come to DDS like that, just make sure it's on DDS, the bottom one, direct draw, and then save it. And it'll say, do you want to save it and replace it? Say yes. And then it'll go to OK. And then press OK. And then it'll say, do you want to flatten the image? Just go, yes, I do want to flatten the image. Press that. And then there we go. Yeah, job done. That's the trailer. It's in. OK. So then exit out of there. OK. Don't save anything because it's done. And if you click on there now, where the trailer is, open it with paint.net. Look what's there. There it is. How easy is that? It's ready to go, guys. It's done. Done and dusted. Awesome. Okay. Right. So then all we've got to do then is go all the way back to your folder, to your test skin folder in here. And then you go into it. Okay. So now we're good to go, guys. So all we've got to do now is select all the files, yeah? Right click on them. Add to archive in WinRAR. Okay. Open it up. And then all you've got to do is, this is so easy, you've got your name of your skin the uh, file it's called test skin and then just make sure it's on zip put it on zip file yeah so it'll archive in zip for that and then press ok all right and then what that'll do is it'll make you a, a test skin win here like this and basically that test skin there all we do now guys is copy that then we go into our documents we go into a euro truck we go into mods and we paste that in go ping paste it in like that easy as that okay there you go. That's the test skin in. Right, guys. So there we go. Hopefully, this has worked. So, right. Now, what we do is we now open up Euro Truck. So, just bear with me a sec, guys, while I get Euro Truck up. And then I'll be back in a minute, guys. Right. Here we are, guys, in Euro Truck. We're just loading it up. Let me just have some of my sweets. Hopefully, you guys have been following this and it's not been too hard for you. This is obviously the easiest way. I've, I've looked at a few. I've looked at a few ways of skinning, and this is the easiest way I've found, guys. really is. It doesn't take long at all, and you can make whatever you want. Right, so basically, we're going to go into new mods found. And then, 
This should be your skin at the top here. As you can see, I've already got a couple in here. I've got one there, and I've got one down here as well. There's one. That's my one. So I'm going to turn that off for now, because I don't want that in. Because it'll interfere with the one I've already got at the moment. So I only need one. So I'm going to show you my one we just made. which should be this top one here. So it's normally at the top. So just click that. And then I've got to bring it down under my Pro Mods. So just throw it there. Confirm your changes. That'll activate it. Uh, press continue. Just wait for it to load up. And we'll see if it works. Um, don't worry about that. That's obviously because I've turned some mods off. I've turned my trailer off and put another one on instead. Yeah, as you can see there, if you look up the top corner where my head is, you can see the Pink Panther trailer right there now. So if we go in there now, guys, pick our new trailer, go to customization. Let's get my truck on. Let's cancel that a bit. Get that on. Now what we do is we go here. Look, there's a new collar. Pink. And it's called Bring. Click on that. Look at that, guys. There it is. The Pink Panther. And then on the back doors, Hello there, my friends. Hello. That's how easy it is, guys. That is it. That is how you skin your own trailer, my friends. There's the roof, as you can see what we painted. Exactly the same colour as the back and the front. And you can do whatever you want on it, guys. And then the accessories. Get the accessories. So if you go to the accessories, as you can see, these will change to whatever you painted. See, just pink now, guys. Same on the back here. You know, these are the these are all the black colours. These are the base colours. So there are all the accessories and these are the base colours. So if you wanted these to match your trailer, you wanted to, where we done black on the shed, you do that pink. Okay, guys? Or the vice versa. I think it was the base colour. You do as... No, you do the base colour as pink instead of black. And then everything will be pink. So as long as you do them too pink, everything will be pink. If you want the side skirts black, just do them black. Whatever colour you want them, guys. It's the same with the back here. Let's see what colour that is. It's pink. It's the same as the sides, you see? Because that's accessories as part of the side. So whatever colour you want, that's what you put in, my friends, okay? So that's basically it. That is how you skin your own trailer and how easy it is. Um, I quite like that trailer, actually. I like that. The pink panther. You know what I mean, guys? Right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. and It was quite easy to follow. I hope I haven't messed it up and it was... Uh, you enjoyed it and uh, hopefully I've made it as easy as possible for you to skin your own trailers uh, in 1.32 the new update and if I'll tell you what guys if you want me to show you how to do the truck or you want me to show you how to get your trailer that you've made into the game so it's been driven around and you can actually see it while you're driving around you've probably seen on my streams you'll see my trailer everywhere I can show you how to do that I can do a tutorial on that and the truck if you want guys so anyway hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and if you do struggle a bit and you want some help just write in the comments guys and i will help you out guys all the links that you're gonna need for what i made this trailer is down below not the pink panther pictures obviously just the paint.net the folder you need to put into the game and that was it really what well, it didn't need nothing else did we guys no a winrar and the winrar get folded thing thing <laughs> you know what i mean guys jesus i'm waffling now and like anyway guys thanks for watching see you soon guys see you in my next video soon right, peace out to you goodbye my lover